Hey, Mary Beth, with another video. It's 9.36 p.m. and I am sitting here in my pajamas on top of my bed in the dark. And you know, I guess I'm having fun making videos on this laptop here. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, it is the eyeball thing. It's really cool looking at your eyeballs move. <laughs> it is. But right now I'm sitting in the dark, you know, but... Um, I guess it's just, it's kind of fun uploading from my laptop more so than it is my phone, but I will start using my phone again, probably in a few months when I get another one, because right now, you know Maria can't afford a new phone because, you know, Maria's been getting stock. You know the story. Come on now. Anyway, so I was thinking about, you know, how people, I, I spoke about jealousy earlier and how, um, people tend to, you know, mistreat people that they find um threatening to them you know whether that be a, a, a thin woman a woman who had who's very well endowed or um even in some kind of times you know men can get jealous of other men i don't think they're quite as vicious as women women are fucking goddamn monsters i swear to god um but you know there are some men who are very jealous of like their neighbors they might be jealous because a person might have a better physique he may be more successful uh he may have more uh, chances of attracting beautiful women or whatever so men have their little issues too but you know I know that um you know I, I was thinking about people who who perceive women who have um you know uh, who, people who the perception that people have of women who they consider to be attractive or whatever and people don't realize that a lot of women see I'm gonna first of all I'd like to say that I think I'm okay looking I don't think that I'm, um, you know, like fucking drop dead gorgeous. I don't think that at all. You know, I think that I'm, I'm okay. I do. I think I'm okay. I just, you know, I've seen women that are 10 times more beautiful than me, you know, and for some women, they would, they would never want to admit that. I, I'm just, I'm just one of those people, you know, I, I recognize good looking women and I don't think that I'm like something, you know, but I will say that. I think Facebook, what I can, I think that Facebook caused a lot of hype, okay? Um, you know, it, it, because if somebody says something and it, or creates an issue, then everybody starts to think this, okay? Like I said, I think I'm okay. You know, I, I don't think I'm ugly, you know, but I don't think I'm like, you know, um, I'm not a Tyra Banks. I'm not a Beyonce. I'm not any, anything like that. I think that I have... An okay look about me um, I'm I'm content with my looks you know but I know growing up I, I used to look at other women and think like um, I know people used to compare me to Janet Jackson now Janet Jackson and I did kind of favor each other before Janet Jackson had like a gazillion nose jobs okay um, I think when she did the pre uh, pleasure principle album people used to compare me with her all the time but um, you know she's gone long changed her look since um, back then but, you know, um, but people, when people create gossip and, and, and stuff like that, then that can actually attract more male attention just because people are creating hype over it, okay? And I think a lot of the attention that I've gotten is because of that hype. Now, I mean, I've, I've always had opportunities to, to meet men, just like any other woman has, you know. But I, I think it, it's only gone over the top because there has been this sort of encouragement or this sort of, um, you know, the Facebook drama is what created all of this, okay? And, um, you know, I, I will say, you know, when it comes to, to jealousy and, and these sort of issues, women tend to um, mistreat other women because they think that they have something that is going to um, put them... Um, in a position that's better than they are. And I'm going to say that a lot of women who are perceived to be, you know, beautiful or, or extremely pretty or whatever, many of them suffer a lot inside, okay? Because a lot of narcissistic, narcissistic men are um, drawn to what they consider to be beautiful women. And, you know, because, the, you know, narcissistic people, they want to drive the best cars, they want the best jobs, they want the uh, beautiful, most beautiful home, they are very materialistic, and they want the most beautiful woman on their arm. And oftentimes these women get abused by men like you wouldn't even believe, okay? So, and then, you know, um, so they get, they get, um, they get, um, 
you know, treated in a superficial manner. They're not treated like human beings often. They're oftentimes they're not, you know. And so you think that you somebody has everything, but in in a lot of cases, that's not true. Uh, it, you know, it's just not. Um, I, I've known a lot of beautiful women who've been just devastated okay men have completely just wrecked them because they only liked them because they were beautiful that was it that was the only thing they cared about now don't get me wrong I think people should take care of pride in their appearance they really should if, if that's what your thing is okay there are some women who don't care about those sort of things and that's fine too but if you're the kind of woman who does then that's fine I mean, it, it's, it's, society is built with a mixture of everyone okay but just because you think a woman might be attractive or whatever, most beautiful women that I've known myself, and I've known quite a few, are not happy. They're just not, okay? Um, they tend to um, have a hard time, you know, being friends with other women because women are always worried about them. And then the men that they are close to tend to li literally walk all over them because they, they don't care about that woman's feelings. They mostly care about having a trophy on their arms okay and like I said you know I, I don't think I'm ugly but I don't think I don't think that I'm I look you know so goddamn beautiful that all these people who've connected with me on Facebook you know I, I think that's to me I think it's over the top and I personally think it's over the top only because of the hype okay because I know that there are several women that I've seen on Facebook myself that I think are 10 times better looking than myself, okay? So this is hype. People have hyped me up on Facebook. And I, I just, I don't think it's really warranted, okay? And I'm not cutting myself down. I, I'm just one of those people. You know, I, I'm kind of realistic. I, I do remember talking to a lady uh, about the Samantha Brick thing. And I've talked about this so many times, okay? And, um... When Samantha Brick made that comment, and I am going to defend this woman, I will defend Samantha Brick to the day I die. Okay, I will, I will, I will defend her because all she said, she was talking about something that was realistic. What she was saying was the truth, and just like the people who unsubscribe to me on my channel for speaking the truth, is the same issue that some, you know. Um, that happened to Samantha Brick. Now, Samantha Brick, I think when she said that was back in 2012, okay, the old news, right? But still, this whole lesson is, a, you know, goes throughout the age of time. Um, she was basically saying, you know, that, you know, that the downside to being beautiful or whatever, okay? And um, she didn't say she thought she was beautiful, but some people perceive her as beautiful, and she was talking about her experiences, okay? And, um, she got a lot of backlash for that. She got a lot of backlash for that. And, you know, here's the, here's the thing, okay? I, I think that Samantha Brick, for her age, okay? We're, we're women in our 40s. I think Samantha Brick and I are about the same age, okay? We're in our 40s. And Samantha Brick is, is a pleasant-looking person, you know? And she probably doesn't think she's drop-dead gorgeous either. But, um, but people were just bashing her all because she said the truth. She was speaking the truth, okay? And just like when I speak the truth and people, you know, unsubscribe to me, it's very difficult when, when not everybody likes to hear the truth. They just know, okay? Now, whether you think Samantha Brick is absolutely beautiful or you just think she's okay or, you know, I definitely don't think she's an ugly woman. She's not an ugly woman. But whatever your opinion is on Samantha Brick, it, it um... <laughs> it's just something that really gets to women. Women feel very intimidated when somebody else is looked upon as good looking and they're not being the center of attention. A lot of women get this way. And um, I don't know if it's biological. I've read things that they say it's biological because women feel this desire to be... Um, they try to break it down to like, you know... Um, the whole thing about finding a mate and being reproductive and, and all this other stuff, okay? And I'm like, I don't really think if it's that complex. I think it's just basically ego, okay? Um, if you're content with a man in your life and you're whatever, why would you care if somebody else, or do you feel threatened that that person's going to steal your husband or something? I, I, I don't know, okay? But when you really start looking at why you're envious of other people, 
maybe you'd come up with your own conclusions. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? But in my case, I, I really do think that it, it's hype. I really do. Okay. Um, I look at my facial features and, you know, they're okay. But, you know, when I was younger, I, w I wanted a nose job. I think, I think I have a face that is, what do you call it? It, I don't know. I think I look mousy. You know, I, you know, my, I know my family used to call me mouse, mouse of the house or whatever, which fuck them all. I hate them anyway. But I mean, there is a f mousy look to me, you know, in, in my face. And it, to me, when I think of beautiful women, I think of, you know, like, um, who, who do I think was really beautiful when I was younger? Jane Kennedy. She was a black woman who was just gorgeous. I thought Marilyn McCoo was beautiful. Um, you know, and I don't really consider myself to be one of those people. You know, I just don't. I mean, I'm okay. But I will say, you know, because I take care of my, my, um, myself, you know, um, meaning, you know, I, I, I get, you know, I dress nice and, well, it's to the best of my ability, especially lately since I work out in dirt, basically. But, uh, you know, I, I'm well groomed and everything and I'm, I'm okay. You know what I mean? But, um, but, uh, anyway, I was going to say, I'm getting really tired that, um, you know, stop thinking that, you know, uh, it's so great to be considered that or envious of women who, you know, you think have it all because oftentimes they don't, you know, these people who, um, look like they have everything don't necessarily have everything, you know, um, it's, it's good that, you know, uh, you know, First of all, I would like to say that. I'm, I'm kind of getting sidetracked. I would say that, you know, like when I get contacted on Facebook and by, by a lot of people who friend me, um, especially men who friend me on Facebook, um, I know that most of the people who connect with me on Facebook is because of what happened in the 2008 blow-up. I know it, okay? Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm like, a, in the grand scheme of things, I'm like nothing. Okay, I mean, um, what I mean by that is I'm not, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not a model. I don't promote myself. I don't do anything like that or anything. But the reason why I'm getting these, this sort of traffic on my Facebook page is because Maria Gordon, you know, in the world of Facebook is going to attract attention only because there was so much hype built up about this whole issue on, on, in 2008. And so you can actually convince somebody that a person is a supermodel just because of the hype. And I, I really do believe that it's mostly hype. It is. It is. Okay. I don't think that I'm, you know, super, uber, duper gorgeous. I don't think that. I really don't. I really don't. I, I'm content with how I look, but I don't think that of myself. I just, I just don't. You know, and I and I, I kind of roll my eyes when you know these people make try to make contact with me because I'm like, okay, had 2008 never happened, you know, had, had that Facebook blow up never happened, I wouldn't be dealing with this bullshit. <laughs> I really wouldn't. So, anyway, I guess I'm getting off the subject because I'm really tired. So, anyway, having fun with my my computer making videos. Um, I do like being in front of this camera and watching my eyeballs move for some reason. I don't know why. You know, maybe because I'm so goddamn bored that all I can do is sit here and look at my eyeballs moving side to side. Who you knows what it is. But, um, I, um, I don't know. I, I just think that, um, you know, I, I'm, I guess I'm the kind of person I want to look inside myself and, and try to figure out why I feel the way that I feel about certain things. And, um, you know, when I think of these women who, you know, treated me like shit in the workplace, uh, maybe they thought that I was with Stephen Miles and, and I was with a husband and maybe they were jealous because they wanted to have two men. You know, I can assure you I would never want to be associated with that kind of scandal. You know, it wasn't true. You know, I, I was going by the last name of uh, Gordon first, and then all this was this weird shit going on, so I changed my name to Graham, and then they must have knew that Stephen Lyles was around, and they thought that I was whatever. I, I don't know what they thought, but I think they thought that. And then when I think about how I was treated, it's like, are you jealous? Do you want to live like that? You know, or maybe they thought having an incestuous family, I was just going to have 
all the sex I ever any, anybody could ever want. You know, they thought it was like an all-you-can-eat buffet of sex or something. I don't know what the, what, con, what was conjuring up in these people's minds. I really don't. But I can assure you, you know, that's just, just not my thing. It really isn't. So, anyway, um, I meant to make this video more fulfilling and, and, and talk more about stuff. But I am getting tired, you know. But um, tomorrow I might make a video so I can watch my eyeballs again. Wrapping up this video. Have a good night.